So I'm writing this book and bringing you every couple of three paragraphs as a short daily podcast. But I thought I'd better kind of introduce myself a little bit more, who who, who I am. So my name is Peter Stewart. Uh, on Twitter, I'm Tweeter Stewart, T-W-W-E-T-E-R-S-T-E-W-A-R-T. That's where I'm kind of most prolific. Now, um, I've been in radio and TV presentation for 30 years, mainly with the BBC. And in that time, as well as I've, oh, I've presented hundreds, probably thousands of live programs and news bulletins. I've done uh, fast-paced music shows to formal news reading on national radio. I've listened to, recorded and edited the voices of thousands, tens of thousands probably of other people, and, and developed an ear to what makes a voice confident and the message compelling. I've written several books on presentation techniques for radio and TV. I've taught and spoken events across the UK and abroad. For several years, I was actually the only voice and presentation trainer actually employed by the BBC. So I've coached dozens of celebs and household names who were on TV and radio. Uh, Some of them were music presenters, uh, interviewers, uh, travel uh, news presenters from local radio, regional TV stations, breakfast hosts on national radio. Uh, Some of them were on the BBC News Channel, so right across the board, the, the board. And I was also contracted to coach dozens of newsreaders on the commercial global radio network of stations, which now includes Heart and Capital and LBC. And they've got dozens and dozens of stations across the UK. And as well as all that, I've recorded thousands of podcast episodes myself. I was the voice of a national radio commercial campaign for an electrical superstore. (laughs) I won a New York Radio Award for news presentation. And uh, my current editor... Um, at the station where I work at the moment, says I am the voice of authority for the station's news output. Now, having said all that, I'm not a speech therapist or a laryngologist. I don't give advice on singing or stage acting. Now, a laryngologist is a subspeciality within uh, the ear, nose and throat area that kind of deals with illnesses or injuries of the larynx, uh, and the larynx is often called the voice box. I'm not one of those. But I have kind of been there and done audio and video presentations for decades. I've been trained by the BBC, by the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama in London, and I am a trained vocal first aider. So I know quite a bit about the voice and projection and how to look after it and how to use it. So if you speak for a living on air, live or recorded, then my book and this series of daily podcasts is for you. If you present or are an interview guest on a podcast or a video channel or a radio or a TV station, my book and this series of podcasts is for you. Over the next weeks and months, I'm going to be bringing you everything you need to know from breathing to reading. Your voice and how to use it can be adequate or excellent. And right here is where you start tipping that balance. And between my written and spoken word tutorials, you should get enough confidence to tip the balance between an adequate voice and an excellent one and to bin a kind of well-meaning advice from a friend or a boss that I've mentioned before. So, if you're ready to learn how to get a better broadcast podcast and video voice, stand by, because our short daily podcasts continue tomorrow. From London, I'm Peter Stewart.